everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Evie and I have my layout share for the month of March and April. I think it's been a good um, formula for me to do it every other month because some months are kind of slower than others and at least I have a good stack of layouts to show you now. I am super excited because if you've no, and been following me, you know that I only did 28 layouts total for the year as my first time um, with uh, as a new mom with a baby. And I've been finding the time and able to scrapbook. And I think as of now, I've already surpassed the 28 layouts because this month alone, I think I did like these two months alone, I did, I did 18 total. So I'm getting my groove back, everyone. And I'm actually enjoying and loving each of my layouts more than I have in the past. I think, you know, like your style's evolving. It's becoming a little bit more signature for me. And that's what's really good. So let's do the layout share. And, you know, and I also got positive feedback um, because sometimes everyone cannot always watch all the process videos so I will let you know if there is a process video but this is just kind of get like a nice flip through on what I've been doing the last two months and hopefully you can do some screenshots and then recreate these on your own okay so let's get started uh, this one was done um, in kind of in transition it was like the last day in February but I was using it for um, to help out the Spiegel mom scraps and that's where all of the sequences are from so this one is featured on the blog and I do have a process video for it. Um, it was a die cut um, from Paige Evans that I used on the silhouette, but you can see how I centered all of the sequences for the flowers. And this one was super fun and just a bright layout uh, to do for um, them. I also played with the most, you'll see a lot of Maggie Home Summer Sunny Days. I got that collection from Blitzy and I used it. I made a good dent in it. So this is one of the first ones I did. Um, this one there is there there is a uh, process video. This is just a lot of fussy cutting and Photoshop um, scrapping some pictures of me and Valentina on Snapchat filters. Um, I th it's sunny days mostly. All of the papers. So are these. Actually, everything is except for um, the thickers. These are from an Amy Ta an older Amy Tangerine collection. There is a process video for this one as well. This one was this was a scrap lift. I don't know from who. I forgot her name. It was one of the first layouts I saw with the Sunny Days collection, and I loved it. And so I scrap lifted as best I could. There's a little bit improvis um, improvising for things I didn't have, um, and I added some sequence as well. I love adding the sequence. You'll see a lot of sequence. Um, I am the guest designer for um, the last month, I think, and. Of course, I had to buy like all the sequins she offers in the store. So there's sequins on everything. It's a nice detail to put. But everything is sunny days um, except for the ribbon, even though she did have one that's um, navy and pink, this um, collection. This one is from Previous Carousel. And then the charm is from Paige Evans. I want to say whimsical. And then there's some older Maggie Holmes in there and other floral pieces that I used. This one was inspired completely and scrap lifted from Paige Evans. I made tons of pinwheels. It's totally dimensional. This this layout stays by itself in the page protector because unfortunately I have to figure out my room a little bit. I don't display any of my layouts right now in my old craft room when we used to live somewhere else. I did and I have to do that because this one would totally be on the wall. Like I freaking love this. This one was for design team. Uh, I was guest designer for the scrapbookingstore.com and it was was this collection by Echo Park I think it was called Celebrate Spring and actually these are all the b-sides of the paper but Paige Evans was the one that did it first um, and I just totally scrap lifted it and I freaking love this layout so much it's so good and then gold Heidi shine here's another one sunny days there is a process video for this one as well I fussy cut out there's a seashell paper that I use I fussy cut out all of them and then I circle cut the paper with the swimming people and then the beach paper as well is also from sunny days, sunny days and then I did a whole kind of wreath motif and used a lot of the chipboard stickers and cardstock stickers I added a lot of dimension and there's a lot of sequence as well just cuz <laughs> This one was um, this one was for Spiegel Mom Scrap Their Blog. You can see all of the sequence I used as details. The cut file is from Paige Evans, and I went back to my completely mixed media, messy, grungy um, papers. The paper is Flourish from Maggie Home, so it was that black and white um, paper in the back, and I used like layers of gesso and it's um, oxide inks on top, and then I backed the cut file. Um, I do like this layout. I don't love the way it turned out, but like I said, it was like going back to my um, 
mixed media heavy days and I love it. Um, but it's not my favorite. You know, there's always some favorites. But um, I did use it and then it's um, Valentina and her cousin, Luciana. Um, they're like sim close in age, so they're going to be like the Rusum Tusum as they grow up. <laughs> This one, once again, was using the same paper collection as the one with the pinwheels. This is for scrapbookingstore.com. This one, there is no process video for because I did it as a Facebook Live. If you are um, following the scrapbookingstore.com's um, business page, you can see the replay of this. But it was a simple grid format, and I walked you through me doing that along with, I think, about like... 20 or 30 people followed me on that class. Um, super sweet. Um, older pictures when Valentina was smaller um, that I scrapped when we were on the beach, but I love the pattern paper and the grid layout. It's always a go-to um, for me. As well as a wreath, like a circle wreath recently, I've been doing over and over again, which is really fun. There's another one. This is a mixed media one. I totally did colored paint and try to do that monochromatic uh, tone on tone uh, with the embellishments. This is all mostly sunny days. I cut out like the um, umbrella paper. The chipboard are all from that collection as well. Um, there's some sequences too from Spiegel Mom Scraps. But, and then I backed it on... This is a, I think it's Kaiser Craft. So it's just a black and white um, pattern that I just liked when I bordered it up. Um, process video us in the pool that's a recent photo this is so fun this was inspired by oh I'm gonna say her name wrong it's Enza I believe she's in a lot of design teams she did this go she had a pattern paper from a recent collection I cannot remember but it was similar in boldness and she used another cut file I don't know but I had this one that was similar too and like it still lets the pattern paper shine through this is from an Amy Tangerine collection I want to say it was from on a whim I could be wrong on that this is another die cut some embellishments from Amy Tangerine as well and the photo is from Valentina's first birthday party um, I love this layout. This was simple. This is just paper crafts. There's no mixed media. The papers, the cut file, and everything else just do the beautiful work for me. That was awesome. This there is a process video for. Um, I had to use that gorgeous embossed gold uh, pink uh, photo uh, photo pattern paper from the Maggie Home Sunny Days. More fussy cutting for the embellishments. There's a small area, like a triangle area of mixed media, which was truly just oxide ink and past, uh, cracked pistachio and picked raspberry. More fussy cutting. Oh, and the bird kind of moved. And then these are the dimensional um, flowers from the collection as well. I still have a few more. I thought I was going to hoard through or use these quick. I'm still hoarding them like I always am afraid I do. Um, pictures of me and Valentina, or not me and Valentina, it's just Valentina. We were at the shopping at Michael's, so it's like at the floral aisle, and then I took her to play at the park in the mall, and so that was like a quick photo that I did there. I love the way this turned out. It's so sweet, so pretty. Um, love it, love it. Uh, pro yeah, there is a process video. This one was um, inspired by the lovely Sue's Fish. I've been watching her a lot, and she does beautiful work, like white on white on white layouts that have just texture, and that was the look I was going for. I had this lace that I hauled from Hobby Lobby a while ago, and I haven't used it, and I was going to use a simple tool, but I love the rosette floral kind of garland look of this one. Two clusters of cut files that I did the same one and just put one on light blue paper and the other one white and then uh, my favorite paint now it's that is it on my desk I probably have it on my desk that awesome glitter paint this stuff that I found oh my god like I think this was the first one I use it on you'll see it on others this stuff I got it from Michaels it's called glitterific but I did see it also at Walmart but that's what accents um the butterfly wings here and like shut up look how cute that is I mean let's be honest what it probably really is is just like matte gel medium with glitter chunky glitter in it because it dries clear but the glitter stays behind oh it's gorgeous like this is just soft and sweet and just you can see there's texture paste too like it's just interest everywhere that I love it and so these were pictures of Valentina we went strawberry picking and oh that was such a nice little day there there is a process video for this one. Bussy cut out um, an older page Evans um, pattern paper. I can't remember what the collection, but it is like two or three collections ago. Two pictures of Valentina that my sitter took. Like, stop it. Like, look how stinking cute she was in that photo. I did mat it on another um, die cut that I cut out. Um, it's like repeating circles, but it makes like a geometric pattern. Most of it got covered up, but 
I had it for the interest. This is um, Maggie Holmes from Carousel. That is from Box of Crayons from Chamel. And then this one, oh, I, yeah, this one was for Spiegel Mom Scraps. So you can see all of the sequence is from, I think it's Hippity Hoppity or Spring Fling. It was one of the April releases, but you can see I just threw sprinkled so much on. And I, again, I love the layout. There are a lot of loves in this stack. There's a lot of loves. There is a process video for this one. This one, was it done for Spiegel Mom? I think I've just been concentrating. I don't know if all of them were for Spiegel Mom, uh, but I am using a lot of their sequences. But again, Paige Evan inspired. She cut down all the two by two um, square pattern papers from her collection and then in a diagonal again. And you can create this chevron by creating these almost like rhombus yeah, or parallelogram uh, shapes to get a chevron bath picture of Valentina and then you can see where I added all of the sequence details and right here and I did tone on tone and I didn't go in the middle because there weren't a lot of pink slash coral ones which is why it's only absent there but it still just adds enough interest to the layout and I do love it and this is like an old Maggie Holmes collection as well love that this was for the scrapbookingstore.com the next two were there are uh, no process videos for these. These ones I just kind of did for them to feature. Um, the collection was Authentique um, Ingredient. If you know the collection, it's a very um, almost like foodie kind of collection. But the uh, opposite sides, I'm sorry, the opposite sides are just lovely patterns. And so I backed in Paige Evans Cut File. The picture is of Valentina from a while ago. She's a little baby there. Um, but you can see how the B side were totally more up my alley than probably the A sides that had all these like food uh, patterns. Um, yeah, so that's this one. No process video. No process video for this one either. Like a gigam thing. Um, it was like I said, very recipe slash food. But I did cut up the B side again and then make them all into one inch squares and did them in the back. These wood chips are also from the kit, as well as the stickers and these uh, silver enamel dots. These are just pictures of Valentina and Miguel at the fair, and then like a cool like um, funnel cake. So I thought, why not scrap that together for a food-inspired collection? These two, um, though, actually no, the next three I have completed in April. There are process videos. There is this one's already up. The next two are still coming, so but I made them in April. I didn't want to keep them in May. So there's two more process videos coming, but you do have this one. This one was the latest one. Um, it's Indigo Hills by Pink Fresh Studio, and then the back paper is Kaiser Craft. And I did some fussy cutting, and then these pit pieces too are from the Kaiser Craft Midnight Collection. So these, the blessed, the spots, and the hearts. They were the same colors as Indigo Hills. And I just, again, love this layout. You can see this whole reef thing happening again. It's my go-to layout lately. Here's another circle-ish. It's a page of cut file. Um, I just backed it with pattern paper. These are all scraps, actually. I used that paint again. You can see it right in there. <laughs> I did some huge layered hearts um, for the embellishments and so all of these were just honestly in my scrap and each of the bigger hearts I did put a piece of vellum so you can see the vellum um, and not this one but there's vellum and then there's some like acetate pieces. This is from Easter and look I'm the only one smiling at the camera and they too are in their own little giggly world. It's just a perfect family photo but love the way it's out. It's on pink pattern uh, cardstock process video coming and then process video coming for this one as well um this was both from willow lane willow lane yeah willow lane maggie holmes and so are the thickers i fussy cut out all of the flowers and then this pattern paper was like that weird one with all like the uh patterns in like they met like that so perpendicular in this way i cut them all up and then made them into like my own pattern paper so half of it the gold embossed ones these are from sunny days but it worked well and it's a picture of valentina and zoe together and her onesie says my Zo my sibling has a tail which is zoe um and then there's some mixed media i just used um the express oxide sprays and literally just sprayed 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 and that was kind of it so you can see kind of the circular um cylindrical of the spray right there keeping the mixed media simple so the process video for this one is coming 
I also joined the ladies at Stretch Your Sketch, and so I com started creating, uh, this is a blank traveler's notebook, so I'll be getting into it a little bit more. It's, it's interesting to work on a smaller scale for me. I'm usually always so big and everything else, but I made this layout from there. It's Stretch Your Sketch. The process video is on my channel. You can see the paint again. <laughs> like everywhere. It was during our Easter egg hunt and then I did our journaling on there. There is a process video for that one as well. Then I have my Project Life spread. So um, this is the first spread for March. It was, um, ooh, let me see if I can get in camera like as so. So I'm always trying to stay as cohesive as I can per the spread and the pattern paper. So this was, I can't remember the collection, but it's clearly I use it here, here, and this was the back side of it. I think it was a cocoa vanilla paper. Um, so backs, this is the same paper, and this is the back side, and so here it is featured again. And then I wanted to keep that blue-green going on, so this was from an old um, Mombi collection. So I always like to put, you know, my formula right now is always to have the month card and then her uh, progress shot. Uh, Moana is on the TV every day, so I've watched this movie every day this year, so I pretty much know the words. <laughs> that was uh, Luciana coming over to play again, and a picture of um, Starbucks. Um, we're working hard at our clinic, and so well, every once in a while, um, one of us comes back with Starbucks to get through our days. They're long. Um, we, ooh, sorry, this happened twice now in this video. Um, Grandma sent over a little tennis-inspired looking outfit. Valentina and Zoe get a bath together. Um, she's standing dangerously on the slide in our living room, and then some more pool photos there. The back side goes like this. So these patterns are all from the same cut apart sheet. It was from a paper pad I hauled from Die Cuts with a View. It was called Wildflowers, it was from Joanne's. So I was able to tell the story of Valentina getting sick again. She's having a lot of breathing issues. They're calling it asthma, but they can't because she's under two. But it's definitely reoccurring when I have to break out the nebulizer. My in-laws got a new dog. Her name is Frida. Bath time. Park pictures. And Miguel grilled his favorite wing recipe. <laughs> then my brother-in-law got married. So these are all wedding photos. Look how beautiful they are. And that's why I think I chose it because I had a whole day for the wedding and I wanted this whiter floral theme throughout this little spread right here. So that worked out great. In April, uh, my sister came to visit as well. Oh, these did not stay together. Um, so the date that was a mo the, the big Studio Calico Mega Date stamp. And these are, um, oh, that one didn't stay down either. Oh, I didn't glue that. Okay, this is Amy Tangerine, and this too is, uh, this as well is, went strawberry picking. So, of course, you're going to use strawberry pattern paper. Um, so I think, and for this one, I didn't really need any journaling. This pictures speak for themselves. Really fun. And then we get into April. So April's first page looks like this. So, um... The pattern paper, I featured it a lot, and then over here too, because that was the branding strip on the opposite side. So this is the A side, and then B is like the watercolory paper here, so that's how these stay cohesive. Um, we had pictures with the Benny for her progress shots, um, just an afternoon. And then these, this was the decor in Valentina's room. These were paper flowers I made for the shower, as well as a silk flower wall is over her changing table. And it turns out that Valentina's breathing problems, it looks like she's allergic to dust. So as soon as that got concluded, this was the last, these were like taken at night. The next day I ripped it all down. I was like, no way. I have dust collecting decor in her room. They all come down immediately if they're, you know, challenging my daughter's lungs. So I have nothing on the walls yet. I am planning to paint like a mural um, on that wall with the crib. I haven't painted it yet, but I'll probably do some shots on Instagram. If you don't follow me, it's usually where I tell some snapshots of life. Um, but yeah, so the decor lasted a year. I'm glad for that. But you can see if sh I have a daughter that's allergic to dust where I wasn't very dust free in her room. Like they were kind of gross. I won't, I won't lie, bringing them down. But at least that kind of theory got proven and her breathing has improved tremendously since making her room very minimal and bare. We're digging the park all the time. She does the slides by herself and I have a park near me that has like a splash playground, like sprinkler playground. Oh my God, she loved it. Um, me and Zoe, my sister made these really cool cups. So she emblemed the, Star uh, the Starbucks and then on the back it has like uh, juice, milk or water, like as if it's her, you know, coffee cup and her name's on it. Um, I posted this one recently too. Um, 
this little it was from L L L L Lenny Lemons the face of a toddler a toddler is the face of a baby the attitude of a teenage girl and can the ability to go from an angel to psychopath in 2.7 seconds flat like perfect perfect to describe my child um, another park picture I did some journaling right on the photo in in an app and then a little story about showing off her feet then it was an Easter hunt day I posted some of those on Instagram if you don't follow me there so that's a little story um, my sister unfortunately lost her dog the very tender story um, and then it was just like an art journal page she sent me she does some crafts too and right before she died she did a lot of um, paw prints with Gigi's paws before she left us um, and then of course I, I, I just it's a sad story I need it here I did document I did journal about it but um just to document it it, it was a it's hard. If you've ever lost a pet, it's hard. I've lost one. She's a mess. And then, of course, on the same month, it's like Zoe's birthday. And so I just kind of conjoin them and I put a picture of my mom and her dog. She has a Havanese. Um, dogs are important. They're a part of our family and they need to be documented just as much as anything else. So I like having that. We spent the Easter weekend with my parents in Sarasota. Meeting the Easter Bunny was an epic fail. So I had the perfect epic fail sticker from Mombi. Um... Just other photos, a little journaling about that. Um, two years ago, look at how young I was. And in that photo there, too, I went to see my sister in New York. So it's the Easter parade. And I was like five weeks pregnant at the time. I remember that weekend. That's <laughs> when I told her I was pregnant. <laughs> so it's nice that Facebook has those come up. I just did a screenshot. And then, oh, so speaking of, you remember her asthma room. Went to Grandma's house. I guess Grandma has a dusty house. I didn't bring the nebulizer. I was at the ER Saturday night into Easter summer, Easter Sunday because I didn't pack her nebulizer and she had a full-blown asthma attack at 2 in the morning. It was just like ER we come because urgent care didn't open till 8 a.m. and you can't have your kid have an asthma attack for six hours. Like she might lose brain cells. So off we went to the hospital. That's that story. And then this was all Easter Sunday. Um... The stickers, um, these ones are from a Maggie Home sticker book. This big one is from like a holiday themed one from Michaels. Um, I put some stickers on there. This is the story. She was awesome. Valentina was in a very beautiful butterfly dress. And oh my god, like Grant, there's my mom. Um, just, it was, it was a nice weekend. You know, they spoil her rotten. Honestly, my mom told me point blank. You don't have to bring anything for Valentina except um, pajamas and her food because I have nine outfits for her. <laughs> so she was able to have like literally four costume changes a day. I mean, we didn't do that, but you know, she had all these new dresses for her and everything else. Okay, that's all the layouts. And one other thing that I got into in the last two months has been doing like glue books slash collage slash just a creative outlet that I don't really have to film or feel pressure to do. I'm using an old mole skein that I cut out some pages because I had old like art journal stuff that I wasn't really liking. And then I've been getting into a Canton mixed media. And so I'll show you what I've been doing. This one, this one I've been using a straight just collage, like literally th like mindless, just cutting out shoes, for instance, and laying them on. This one's just collaging, you know, stuff from a lot of fashion magazine stuff. I have one with just like jewelry. Like, I literally just sit there, once I put the baby to bed, if I'm not scrapbooking, and, and mindlessly cut out photos and images from magazines and kind of collage them all together in here. Um, it's fun for me. Um, I've seen a lot of versions called, like, In Moss um, Collage Books by Shannon Green. It's just another creative outlet. This was just a complete ad that I wanted to save. This is all, like, purses. I've been collecting magazine clippings. Like, anytime I throw it out, I do already rip out the pages of items that I always thought I would kind of art journal and scrapbook and not scrapbook but like art journal with I kid you not I have like accordion folders full of magazine images and I've been reading the copyright dates and some of them are literally from like 2006 so I have like decade old images that I've been just collecting and hoarding like hoarders do and now I'm getting into cutting them out because I've been inspired by this glue book aspect and, and like magazine image collaging. And it doesn't have to make sense. It doesn't have to really go. I could start painting on this and just go. And I'm trying to like almost like loosen up my creativity a little bit more. If that makes any sense where like for instance this I just plopped it on here and 
today I might come in and maybe paint around these areas and only have the shoes shine through or paint over it all but at least some of it peeks through and it's just another avenue to kind of get your mojo going so that's this one this okay, the other one I've been doing is in my Canson this one's more intentional I've been taking a class with Alice Burke who's a big floral um, painter slash artist and so for instance in this one this is like five pages of, of magazines layered because I think the background that's red is like a Cartier ad this was like a 1-800 ad for tulips you know for Mother's Day but I just loved her with her pink dress and pink hair and then I use like a ring as your headband slash hat and so it just gives um, more purpose um, the Alice Burke teaches us like kind of how to doodle in the background to have the, your like your subjects focal points stand out more and I might go in and add more so these are unfinished but it's just like I said a creative outlet I'm just cutting and gluing and doing it at night and no pressure um, and it's fun this one was a little bit inspired I've been following Packer Dye her name is Diane I forgot her last name, but she always put like butterfly wings behind her other subjects as well. So I did the same. This was like printed on the computer and then I loved this outfit. So I tuck them, you know, with an X-Acto knife, I cut there and tuck them under. And again, I need to add a quote or do some doodles because it's just like a brick background, but I love the way that looks. These were two pages that I just loved with this and I cut out this Carrie um, Washington picture. Again, not done, but I can add to it cutting out these oranges but she was an ad for like Paul Mitchell hair care with her red hair but I layered this in front of that and again I still have room to play these are undone but this is just else what I've been doing on top of layouts if you want to see some of this creative process by all means leave a comment below and I can show you what I do and as these evolve and um, you know a quote can go on here here's just another one with the butterfly wings behind this person I just love the dress and she was in the white background. So again, I can write a, a you know, a, a powerful inspirational quote or doodle mark in the back. Um, like these, I just loved as is. So I intend to like journal in, in the pendant and in here. And the same with this. This was just a cool picture. This one, for instance, this was an old jelly plate print that I had. I cut her out from some ad. And then I did do a quote. I wanted it to look like her necklace on here. Um, I did post something like a sneak peek on Instagram if you follow me there of this one already so you can see what else I've been doing and then this one was just like a finish up page like there was still some modeling paste so that one's kind of preset but this is what else I've been doing um, if you're interested in seeing how I do these if you want the camera rolling above me as I do them by all means leave a link or else you can just add it to my layout share as I've been doing um, so that is my March and April. I've been really, really creative. I love it. I love that I'm finding time. I'm loving that I'm doing this. Yeah, any questions?